what you're watching is a blind woman see for the first time. Not only can Dorit visualize images, she can draw them too. Blind from birth, Dorit never thought she would be able to see, or at least not without expensive radical surgery. But at the Hebrew University's Faculty of Medicine, Dr. Amir Mehdi, in collaboration with Peter Mayer in the Netherlands, inventor of The Voice, a non-invasive computer software sound system, are pushing the boundaries of technology. Dr. Amedi has trained 10 congenitally blind individuals to read short words and recognize and find objects in as little as 10 to 20 hours of training. The blind subjects use a webcam to transform what we see into sound. Sounds a little tricky. The tricky part is that they need to learn uh, magic. They need to learn some trick, an algorithm that converts and codes the pictures, just like the pictures that is falling on our eyes that transfer this information to the back of their brain, uh, to the visual cortex, they need to uh, learn to transform these images into sounds and then translate it back from the sounds to a picture. It's a way to create an artificial, uh, uh, artificial vision. It's only Dorit's second meeting, and in a matter of mere hours, she is reading and writing in Hebrew and English. And that's not all she'll be able to do. They can locate objects in their familiar environment very easily and very fast. They can look for their shoes. Uh, and for example, on the longer term, I think it's not unreasonable to think they will be able to walk into a room and know that there are four people there and where they are located, and where is the objects. Dr. Ahmedi and his team continue their research with the blind in hope of creating high-tech audio glasses that will convert visual information into audio signals that blind individuals will be able to interpret. Dorit can hardly wait. I hope to be uh, more in independent uh, with uh, this uh, uh, instrument. Excellent.